Hello there, this is a statistics video looking at how we can display data on a dot plot. Let's have a think about some dot plot points here. Dot plots are used to display data. Dots should be carefully positioned so that the height of the height differences between the, uh, the numbers can be seen easily. I'll talk about that as we go through an example in a minute. And each dot represents one data value. So here's a bunch of uh, numbers, data, and we're asked to display the data below in the form of a dot plot. Let's see how we would do that. First off we need a uh, number line and we have a look to see that the lowest number here I think is the 3 that we started with here. So this first number should be 3 and the highest number there, there's no two digit numbers, I think we're talking 9. So our, uh, it's important that our dot plot um, grid has numbers from 3 up to 9 so we put that down there. Now it's just a matter of one at a time crossing off each number and putting a dot on top of that number on the number line there. So we'll cross off the 3 and put a dot on the 3. We'll cross off the 6 and put a dot on the 6. Cross off the 5, put a dot on the 5. Cross off the 7, put a dot on the 7. Cross off the 9, put a dot on the 9. Cross off the 3, now we'll put another dot on the 3 and when we, if we have to put another dot on any of the other numbers that have already got dots on it, we'll want to line that up so that in the end we can see accurately which uh, number has uh, the most dots uh, without being um, put off by uh, a poorly constructed dot plot. So we'll keep going here, we'll cross off a 6 and put another dot on the 6, cross off a 5 and a 7, put a dot on each one, cross off the 3, We'll be careful about uh, keeping a similar space between the first and the second dot and then the second and the third dot on all of the columns here. Cross off a 5, put a dot on the 5, cross off a 6, put a dot on the 6, we'll keep going here. And uh, cross off a 3 and we'll finish off with crossing off a 5 and putting a dot on the 5. Now because we've been careful about the distances we've used between these, there's no doubt that uh, the score that's got the highest frequency here, what we'd call the mode of this uh, set of scores, is the 5. It's the score that occurs the most. It's the one that's got the most dots. So dot plots are good for um, figuring out um, exactly which score has the highest number of uh, occurrences or, or frequencies. So and we can easily see whether which numbers around those uh, those data points don't have any uh, occurrences at all. There's no fours and no eights in this particular one, and uh, the shape of the data is really easy to see straight away on a dot plot. We can take the range from this as well. Uh, in other videos, we're looking at range, which is the highest score minus the lowest score. In this case, nine minus three, and yeah, we get a good uh, idea of the spread of the data. And that's pretty much it for dot plots. I just wanted to demonstrate to you how we construct the dot plot and the uses for that. So I hope that helps there. PeterBlakeMath.com. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for listening.